Welcome, DC community, to another unboxing. We're going to be talking about all these fantastic McFarlane figures that are going to be on our booth at San Diego. You're going to see them for the first time. It's booth number 4645. And we're going to talk about, hmm, let's talk about this Mr. Freeze page puncher. What is page punchers, you ask? Well, this has been an ongoing series of seven inch figures like these that have been developed by the McFarlane toy team in conjunction with DC Comics. The comic book in this case called Fighting the Frozen is exclusive to the toys that can only be found by getting your hands on one of these uniquely designed figures. This is a variant version of Mr. Freeze and it represents a black and white sketch of what the figure would look like when they were trying to figure out what he was gonna look like. Um, it's really different than the original black and silver toy release. So if you have that one, you may wanna get your hands on this one as well. I think it's great. So Page Punchers comes with these great comics that, like I said, uh, or from DC Publishing, they've worked with McFarlane, taking these designs and making a great story out of them. Um, as you can see in here, uh, this story takes place in the past from looking at Batman, and Mr. Freeze is trying to usher in a new ice age to destroy this world. And he comes with this card, um, which is a neat collectible card that comes with all the McFarlane toys. This one specifically has a Page Punchers logo on it because it comes with Page Punchers, Mr. Freeze. And again, it's got a lot of articulation. You've come to know and love for McFarlane. I mean, he's a bigger figure, so you can see he's, he's a little chunkier, but it's amazing they got so much articulation into this figure despite his massive girth. So be sure to hit booth 4645 and pick up your copy of this great comic and this great Page Puncher. We'll see you at San Diego. They probably have the air conditioning on, but don't worry, Mr. Freeze will be there. <laughs> <laughs> hi, hi there. Welcome to a special unboxing for the DC community. Hi, everybody. I'm here to put a smile on that face and unbox these awesome gold label Todd McFarlane action figures from your favorite Dark Knight trilogy movie. Look at these cool things we're going to be talking about today. We've got a bank robber Joker, Joe Garcona Vision, and Bane. So we're going to be doing the first ever seen unboxings right here for you today in the Batcave. We're gonna start with not this guy. I know what kind of damage he did to Batman, so maybe we'll save him for last. This is the Joker sonar vision figure. Amazing representation in plastic. It's cast in tinted clear with just a little bit of paint on it so you can experience and capture the dramatic scene from the movie. Batman's 3D sonar can find you wherever you are. But you don't need fancy equipment like that to get this figure, because where can you go again? That's right, the DC booth at San Diego Comic-Con will have both these figures for only $30 a piece. Make sure you're there. You don't want to miss me. Let's finally talk about Bane. Oh, Bane, the things he did to Batman makes me proud to be a bad guy. But what makes me even prouder is seeing how great he looks as an action figure from McFarlane Toys. Let's crack him open. I've already cut some little strings and opened the box already so you didn't have to watch me do all that because it's not very exciting. Because we want to get right to what's cool about this toy. He's got a real fabric coat and he can still move in it. He can fight in it. He can do all the things Bane needs to do. He can even get both those arms up in the air and throw that Batman onto the ground after he's done with all the damage he's going to do. How cool is that? Also, if you want to do other things with him, this coat even comes off. You can just move his arm straight down like this, pull the coat off, and if he's ready to do more damage, now he can really move because he doesn't have the hindrance of this big coat. And now you've got Bane doing his thing. And if you don't get this Bane, it would be extremely painful for you. Hey guys, the next thing we're gonna unbox is this authenticated limited edition Batman 30th Anniversary Nightfall Gold Label figure from McFarlane Toys. This is such an iconic Batman run. I remember reading this when I was a kid. It was a great story and introduced two of my very favorite characters in the Batman family, which is Bane, of course, as a great villain, and Asriel, who's one of, that design for Asriel when it came out was awesome. That set of armor looked like nothing else that had been at least in the Batman world before. So we're gonna take a look at this figure and it's in a great looking package. Um, again, this will be at San Diego Comic-Con at our booth 4645. So 
let's take a look and see what we have. First of all, this packaging is awesome. So it's in the box, as you can see, a little different from uh, most of the McFarland stuff that we've opened so far. And it's got a really nice slip case. So what's cool about this is you can also take this figure out of the box and you can actually put it back in the box when you're done. So it's really great to have a collectible where you can actually take everything out and put it back if you want to display other things. But hopefully you won't because it's so awesome. So as you can see in here, we've got the Batman figure. You've got a Bane card here and it looks like it's on a stand. You've got some different alternate Batman hands. It's got a Batarang and a base. Everything you need to display this figure is right here. Um, there's also no wires or anything, so this figure looks like it just pops right out. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna actually take this whole plastic thing out of the box, just so it's easier to take it out, because in the back, the cape sticks all the way through, so be careful when you pull this out that you don't rip anything. So I'm gonna just pull Batman out, and he's out. He's escaped his package, and now he's ready for some cool displaying on your shelves. Um, we're gonna pop the base out. There's usually a little peg. Peg him right in. Okay, so now we've got Batman out of the box. We've put him on his base, and this is when you can start looking at all the articulation. I mean, the elbow joint here is great. You can really move Batman around, and you can get that hand right up there, get him into some really good fighting poses. There's ankle joints, there's even a nice joint here where you can actually bend his foot, which is super cool. So you can make some really, really nice poses out of all this stuff. What's also cool about this is you get, which I said earlier, you get extra sets of hands. And what's great is they're all taped in. So as you pull the tape, all the pieces come out. So you've got two hands, you've got a batarang, so you can set them up doing all kinds of different things. It also comes with this great card display. Uh, it's a uh, certificate of authenticity. It's actually got a Todd McFarlane signature on the back and it explains why this is such a unique figure. Um, it's Nightfall 30th anniversary, certifies the limited edition worldwide product. The Batman Nightfall 30th anniversary figurine is authentic and officially licensed by McFarland Toys. Also, what I forgot to mention earlier, the back of this package has an awesome drawing from uh, with the art of Kelly Jones here on a very famous part of this whole storyline. So here it is, Batman's 30th anniversary figure, gonna be at San Diego Comic-Con once again. Don't forget to get down there and pick it up. Get even closer to the entertainment you love at Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood. Explore a world filled with your favorite DC superheroes and supervillains. Snap an epic picture with the Batmobile from the Batman. See the actual Arkham Asylum gates from Batman and Robin and more favorite DC moments. Buy your tickets now at wbstudiotour.com. Hey there, I'm back again. I've been asked by my friend Superman. Oh, you may not recognize me. Hi, it's still me, Jim Fletcher. That's my little secret identity. I've been asked by my friend Superman to unbox this next awesome figure. It's a gold label Superman, and you know it's his 85th anniversary? Uh, it's a really interesting paint scheme that we're gonna show you in a minute. I don't think you're gonna expect it but we really think it represents the core of Superman and it's stripped right down to his basic blue and red color scheme. Let's take a look. So it's in a premium package, which is really nice. Uh, it's got a nice slip case, like the Batman figure we saw before. Um, here it is, I mean, it's pretty striking. I'm sure most of your action figures you have are in, painted in just a couple of colors with the only the iconic shield showing, but uh, it's pretty awesome. Now what's cool about this, again, like the Batman figure, this actually has a package you can take in and out and put back together when you want. So you can take this out, um, but in back of it is a whole nother setup. So this one has a little different situation than the Batman. There's a big base and a bunch of other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna cut this figure out of here and we'll show you what happens next. So. The main piece we're gonna be focusing on is this big base it comes with. It's got a great big Superman S shield. It also comes with this little DC logo, which is great. So that's gonna go right in the front of the base. There's a hole right over here. And we just pop the DC logo right into it. And that's, and you can swirl it around. It can go any direction you want. Next thing we're gonna do is take these Superman 85th sort of poster, mini poster, I guess, and put it Back here, there's actually a slot in the back of the stand where this card's gonna drop right in. So you basically drop the card in or slide it in if you want. 
and you've got a great background. You also do get a certificate of authenticity card, which again has Todd's name on the back, explains what this is. You can put this wherever you want. This doesn't seem to be a particular place, so I'm just gonna put it right over here. And then we're gonna take the Superman figure who I put up on the stand, and I think we can just put him right on top of the base. And you've got a whole display of Superman 85th. Again, this toy is gonna to be at our DC booth, number 4645. It's a great way to celebrate Superman's 85th. So hop on down to Comic-Con and I'll see you there with this in your hand, hopefully.